Hey guys, it's Corrales and welcome back everybody to the second episode of the underground house and I've been sitting here for a few days just chilling. I'm not really chilling because there's a fireplace next to me, but you know, just sitting, relaxing and enjoying. First of all, I just spit into my microphone. First of all, I just want to say thank you so, so, so much for the amazing feedback on episode one. You guys just nailed it. So we're going to continue this project and in today's episode, what we're going to do, by the way, if you do still do enjoy it, if you still do enjoy it, Press the like button, okay? And we'll leave some feedback in the comment section, because otherwise it's just gonna be no, no bueno. But anyhow, so we are much indeed underground, as you can see here. We are deep, 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 deep inside. Not in, that sounds wrong. Deep underground, I mean. And uh, hello, hello. That's my yacht, by the way. Can I zoom in this guy? See, there it is, perfect. And I'm just gonna jump down again. So previously we made this beautiful living room. Today we're gonna continue on making a hallway and a dining area. Might not be the, like the, the most amazing rooms ever, but it's gonna be something. So we're gonna do some digging. We need to carve out another area into the cave system we go. And what do we know? We know that this room here is 16 blocks across from side to side, from that wall to that wall, including the walls. Should we count it? Yes, count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. 15 and 16. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna place a block just for, just because. We're gonna dig from this pillar, so including this block here. But I'm gonna start here, right? 17 blocks in this direction. So we have one with this one, two, three, four, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. <laughs> the one which makes us all the sounds. You little, you, you, you little. And, okay, so we got 17 blocks. So that is going to be the wall end, all right? We're going to have nine blocks in height, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And it's going to be 16 blocks across as well. So basically, if I jump to this side, from this, let me just hear, from this here, and 17 blocks out as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And that means if I go sixteen blocks this direction, I should meet up with a little thing. Hi. Hi. Okay, bad things under the house. Bad things under the house. Uh, I lost my counter. Doesn't matter. We don't really need to count here. Just go across to the other side. And that means we connect with that thing. We can just cover this up like this. And perfect. So, 16 blocks across, 17 blocks in depth, and 9 blocks in height. Behold. Two minutes of explaining a hole. I'm amazing at this. And behold, we have a hole. We do have a little few issues here, like bats. We have some lava here. So let me just block it down off because we don't really want to burn our house. Uh, maybe we should kill the source of the lava. There we go. So now we can just hide that away and block it off. So what this means, this hole, I'm going to turn off some uh, some of the, the shaders mod in a second because I don't think you guys can see anything. No, no, don't fly into the house. I need to kill. Don't fly into the house. Yeah, just go away. Oh. It's attacking me. It attacked me. Do you see that? It attacked me. Many torches. Much wow. Very professional looking now, isn't it? But hey, anyhow, what do we know? It's nine blocks in height, 17 blocks in depth, and 16 blocks in width. The entrance to the house is for the moment being just here. So we're going to start off here in the far end corner. Grab some crab blocks for the moment, please. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the sixth one, just turn it all the way to the other side. Like that. Also, we can purify this wall here as well. So spruce wood, diorite, and light grade hardened clay. So now it's super symmetrical and it looks just picture perfect, I would say. Just amazing balls. And here in the far end, we're going to have a door frame. This is going to be going further into the house in a later stage. So spruce wood, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three across. Another pillar, one, two, three, four, and five. And since we did have those wooden buttons on this side, let's just place them on the door frames on this side as well, because that looks pretty snazzy in my opinion. Above the door, light gray hardened clay, two layers, and a snow one just above that. That is the start of the hallway, that is. In the door frame, you guessed it. Eden, Eden blocks just across like this. 
and grab some dark oak planks and place them all the way around in a one block width perimeter just around the whole shablang for the moment. Just like this, instead of this, we're gonna have a little carpet design soon, but first is first. We have a hallway, we have like a formal uh, living room here. On this side is gonna be a dining area or dining room. So we're gonna make a little door frame for that. And this is really easy because we're gonna follow this pillar here and place it just here. Same goes for this one, boom, and place it just here. So there should be a four block gap in between and pretty much you guessed it, iron blocks. So rise this up by one, two, three, four, five and turn it by one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and five. And why not? Wooden buttons in the middle, like uh, this. Amazing. Well, it's pretty nice looking, I, I guess. Then grab spruce wood and place it all above here. The same on this side. One, two, three, four, and five. This is one, two, three, four, and five. So the pillars come from the side of the walls on the sixth of the block on both sides. Next is gonna be diorite. So the next layer is diorite across. And yes, next one, light gray hardened clay all the way here to the top and two layers above the door frame. Bam, 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 perfect. And now we're gonna make a little carpet design. So using dark oak planks, extend this one more layer out from that door frame and it just comes here in the middle, so the empty space starts there. Do the same on this side. This one is gonna be extended. Is it raining outside? Oh no. Let's just go time set uh, token downfall and time set 4000. Is it done? Yes, perfect, done. So this is gonna be the same on this side. So it just ends here on the middle of the door frame here. And the door, the, the carpet design is gonna be very simple. It's gonna be very similar to this one. So we're gonna start with dark oak blocks. So place one here. One here, one here, one here. So just zigzag them all the way across until we are done. <laughs> until it meets up with the other side, I guess, right? Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Perfect. In the middle, in the out beholder. You could use sand. I'm gonna use sand because I just like the texture of the sand. It just gives you a little cool vibe when you walk on it. But a carpet would not be too shabby because carpet usually sound pretty amazing when you walk on top of them. So there we go. Something like this. Let me just pause it for a little second so you guys can catch up just in case. Next, we're gonna grab some snow and we're just gonna place it all the way across here so we just cover up the whole ceiling design. You could just use clay as well, like white hardened clay. You can use quartz, whatever material you prefer, to be honest. Like, I'm just gonna use snow because it just gives you the nice little contrast and it's, it's super white. It's not like clay, which is a little bit pinkish. Quartz have, has a, like a rough texture in it. This is just white and looks pretty. And while you add it, Let's just take the snow all the way across in this room as well. You can fill the whole room. You don't really have to go to this block if you're really like short on snow, because that's gonna be covered up with a wall. But um, but I don't have that issue because I have like a creative mode on and it's pretty amazing. So just cover this whole room ceiling with snow as well. Or material of choice, of course. Pretty, pretty, pretty perfect. And the final thing here in the hallway, like not really a final thing, but just to close up the walls, it's this wall here. We do have the entrance here. And uh, pretty much is gonna be in the center, like this. You could place it here, but then OCD is gonna kill a lot of people and no, 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 so let them leave. I'm gonna place quartz just for the moment being. We're gonna place quartz in two pillars all the way to the ceiling, like this, and like that. Oh, hello, cave system. Is there anything here? Oh, goodness. There's a lot of bad guys around here. Can you guys even see this? Why are you? Hello? Why Why is everybody here just waiting for like a party, like a, like a house party crashing thing type of thing? Doesn't matter. Uh, quartz all the way to the ceiling like that. We're gonna have a door which is two in weight. It's gonna be the standard micro door. First of all, Iron. And that is a little bit different from this door frame because this door frame is just, you know, there's a door frame here, there's a door frame here. Here is gonna be one block inwards like this. So on this side, we're just gonna mirror that shape. So it's gonna be spruce wood diorite and clay all the way to the top same on this side spruce wood diorite and hardened clay all the way to the top and that torch just went bananas and bye bye so let me just grab another one just so you guys can see and place it here and since we don't really know how the how the entrance is going to look on that side what we could do now for the moment is just to have the quartz maybe have a window above the door the door or something but but we're going to wait and see let me just grab a quartz there i'm going to place it from from this side like this and then just carve out this little thing here so we can enter the house oh no where's the hole where is the hole is the hole here 
Oh no, where's the hole at? Here it is. Perfect. So let me just extend that downwards so we know how things is going. Otherwise, it's going to be a mayhem. There we go. And there's the, the, the all the bad guys is here. So I'm just going to cover that up for the moment. Just so we don't have any droppers. Um, down droppers. So they don't drop on us. Because I, I hate when they drop on us. There we go. Perfect. So there's the entrance. We could have a glass window here. Maybe some, uh, some glowstone behind. But we don't really know how that's going to look. So let's just keep it at this for now. Just, just gonna pause here so you guys can catch up. The torch is not gonna be included, by the way. Now grab some dark oak stairs and place a perimeter all around the ceiling border, like this. Turn it and go back, like this. We're also gonna shape it out a little bit, just as we did over here. So grab some dark oak slabs and start counting from the snow blocks here. One, two. Three, four. On the fifth one, a row just across. Same from this side. One, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, just across. Which means that gives us this three by three area in the middle, which is pretty perfect because here we're gonna have an end rod and it's gonna be a lamp design. It's gonna be exactly the same lamp as we used here. So end rod, glowstone, light gray stained glass, full block from below, and from all the sides of the uh, glowstone, besides from above, right? Because there's an android already. Then, light green stained glass. One here, one here, one here, one here. One here, one here, one here, one here. And one from below, just like this. And that's a little lamp. Also, just to get some extra light into the hallway, you could ju just delete those, place some glowstone in them, and maybe even a trap door. If you have more space, maybe you can even carve out even a little bit more, like this. And there's some trapdoors, because that makes a little like cool. I don't want to know what you say, but like a little like um, like a little lamp uh, spotlight type of thing in, in the ceiling. So I'm gonna carve it out, and then just place some trapdoors here. So that gives us a little even ceiling design as well. Might not really look as good, but uh, it definitely is gonna give us some light in. So if I would delete all the torches around, that should be pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, lit it up here now, right? And it is. That is not too shabby looking in the hallway. Some people might be really upset, by the way, because this lamp is not really center when it comes to this doorway, but hey, it is what it is. You just have to deal with that. Here on this wall, court stair upside down. On the sides, we're gonna have them turn. So there's four stairs in total. Above this, we're gonna have a little end rod with a white glass pane, just representing a little lamp. I know it looks a little bit dirt from this side, but hey, we just have to deal with that as well. Then, flower pot and blue orchid, my favorite flower in the game, fowl. And above this, carve that out. It's not going to be interfering with the other side whatsoever, so we could just have some bedrock or whatnot, or we could just even have a painting. Let me just see, because I know there's a lot of painting with, which is like a little bit greenish in this resource pack, which is really amazing. It's not this one. It's not, ooh, it's not this one. It's not coffee. It's not coffee. Nope, not a TV. This is not bad looking, by the way, but it's not that painting I'm looking for. I'm looking for the one which is green with little dots and flowers inside. There we go, it's amazing. I'm loving it. That is picture perfect. Also, on this wall here, we're gonna have a little table, which is one, two, and three blocks of quartz stair like that, upside down. So it's just centered of the wall, kinda-ish. We have to count that there's one block of spruce here, one on this side, not including the door frame, that is. And above that, or on top, we just have a flower pot with a uh, azure bluet, for example. We could have some trip wire hooks, like that, just to Come in, hang your clothes. You have to imagine, right? This is Minecraft. You don't really do that. Or we can even have like an armor stand or something. And uh, well, we could have a lamp, but I don't know if that's needed. It can look really messed up with the, with the, with the tree power hook. We could remove one and have a lamp, but it's gonna be lamp, lamp, lamp. It's gonna be like a lampception. So we could kind of go without it. We can just even place one of those end rods here, just to represent something, something. And it's gonna look pretty decent anyhow. We could make it like a hang clothes hanger thingy type of here for example, just like something like this, but it's not really that nice looking. So I'm just gonna keep it like this for the moment. And on this side, could put whatever we want. We could put a painting or something. Let's just make a little shape, which is uh, wooden buttons and trap doors. So we're gonna place a trap door here, take it down, trap door here, take it down, wooden button, wooden button. It's a modern type of situation going on on the wall, just like that. Not too shabby, we could even bring it down or place one more just like this, just to have a little like decoration or whatnot. Could go totally crazy with that, those shapes, but um, let's just keep it at this. 
So I was looking at the shelving design and I did tweak the front door to the same design a little bit because I didn't really like the glass in the middle. And this is how it looks. So what do we have here? One, two, three full blocks of quartz, one upside down in the middle in between them, there's a door. Then we have one, two, three upside down coursers three times all the way to the top. In the middle here, just behind the middle one, we have a glowstone block. Because the cool thing about this is that stairs do let light emit a little bit through them. So that's gonna look really cool with the shaders mod. I'm loving it. That's so much better. Like, maybe not super perfect. Maybe not picture perfect, but it's much better. Now, the final thing for today's episode, the dining area. Hmm. So pick a crap block and put a perimeter all the way around it like this. Just on the outer border. Do not touch the hallway border. Step one completed. And grab some spruce wood and place one, two, and three and take it up. Jump away, one, two, three, four on the fifth one. Place one and two, and one and two. So it looks something like that. Here's gonna be a little door frame in the middle. So rise that up to five in total. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then one, two, three, and four across. And uh, buttons, do not neglect the buttons. In the middle, just two, just like this. And the side is just gonna be mirrored from the other one. So we have spruce wood, diorite, and the rest all the way to the ceiling is gonna be light gray hardened clay. Two blocks above the door frame, and the same on this side. So diorite and gray hardened clay all the way to the top. Jump down here, delete those four blocks and place some iron just in the doorway. This wall on the other hand is gonna be just this design from side to side. So spruce wood, diorite, and then light gray hardened clay all the way to the top. So let me just do this off camera because this might be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit boring. Now that is one boring wall, but don't worry, you can have a little cabin and it's gonna look really, really snazzy. Now for this wall, in this room over here, we had those windows with some glowstone and I think we're gonna do exactly the same thing over here because that looks really cool. This is underground, right? So having some glowstone and stuff and windows is gonna still make some sense. So counting from this corner, one block of spruce wood, one, two quartz, one, two, three spruce wood, one, two quartz and one, two spruce wood. And it, you might be like, hey, it's not really symmetrical. You should just make the middle one four. Mm -mm. It's gonna be a table here in the middle, which is free in width. So this makes perfect sense, right? So just come into this. Diorite, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And all the way to the top, above the diorite, light gray hardened clay. Now the top layer here should be clay as well on both sides. Below that, quartz, full blocks, and the rest is gonna be a window. So carve out the backstage area over here. And there's some lava just, whoa, <laughs> hi buddy. Dude, do you mind me You're just placing, hi. Just for the moment, I'm just gonna place some glowstone. Don't mind me, there we go. You look really, really angry. There we go, perfect. We kind of evaded that guy. So we're gonna have some glowstone and then just some full blocks of glass in their space here. Also, here in the middle, we can just delete one and two and place some bedrock. That might represent a painting in the future. But that is all the walls done. And now the floor and carpet. So we're gonna do very similar as we did in this room. We have the acacia and sand, but here we're gonna use acacia and light gray wool instead. So in this corner, acacia, log like this, and then just go zigzag around the whole room. It's a lot of zigzagging. It's a lot of zigzagging, but it's so worth it because it looks so amazing. Like. I don't know. I think it looks amazing. You will have to let me know. But I think this is a win-win scenario. Like, I mean, it's so... I, I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. Zigzag, zigzag, and... No. There we go. So we have the border here. Now, a light gray wool in the whole perimeter within that. Now that is one humongous carpet, but uh, I like it. So, table design. As mentioned before, those three blocks here are gonna be where the table is centered. So let's jump away from the wall. One, two, three, four. On the fourth one, place one, two, and three diorite blocks like that. Then extend them all the way so they are just on that door frame here. So it ends like this and curves around. Because there's a little thing about this, okay? Let me show you. If I place a core slab here, one here, one here, one here. See how nicely that kind of goes all around the table? One core slab here, one here, one here, and one here. Very symmetrical, very much wow. Then in the middle, acacia, sideways, like this. 
So let me just pause here for a second so you guys can catch up. Maybe it's better just to... There we go. There's the door frame. There's the table. You count the blocks. Just in the middle of the table, flower pot, and one on each side. Middle one, fern, and azur blue on the sides. Amazing. Pretty snazzy, I guess. Then, spruce wood doors. Just here on the back. That's gonna be our little chair design thing. So just place one, two, three, one, two, three, and one on this side. Also, banners, white banners, or whatever color you choose. Place them like this. Not needed, but it just, just gives it a little extra. Did I miss a door? I didn't miss a door. Banner and banner. And this might be enough, to be honest. But if you really want to go like all loco, all in on this, you can just place some iron frames on the sides of it. Just to give it like this more chair vibe, I guess. Oh my god, that just been... Oh, it's dark. it's dark. We need to fix some lighting in this room as well. So don't worry, we're gonna get there. And uh, yeah, this is what whatever you guys prefer. But it definitely looks like a really, really nice table design having those iron frames as well. So it's all in the eye of the beholder. All in the eye of the beholder. Whatever you prefer. But this is how it looks. And I think that looks pretty, pretty, pretty snazzy. And what goes for this boring wall here, let's spice it up a little bit. So we know the table starts here and ends here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks. So the leads. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, we like symmetrical? Pretty much so. And they did one more. Here I'm gonna do something a little, little bit, a little bit different. Let me just grab that iron again because I just dripped it up. Perfect. There we go. We're gonna place some iron like this in between there glowstone like that and on every single glowstone we got a light gray stained glass full blocks like this on those iron ones just some paints like this don't go bananas it's gonna be amazing above it dark oak slabs and below it as well this is a little bit of a cupboard design where you can hide away stuff like uh, plates for example or something just like this, very simple, but it looks very stylish. We're also gonna do the same here, but we're gonna do delete those two, play some, uh, play some bedrock or black wool or whatnot. Those as well. And above that, or in below, like this, some dark oak slabs. And here is gonna be a little bit different. Let's place, for example, a full block and a pane. Same goes for this one, but this is gonna be the other way around, just to give it some, some, some detail. Like this, so we enter this room and it looks really, really cool. Here in the corner, we could make a little lamp out of glowstone because it's so dark. So place a glowstone block and some dark oak uh, fence uh, poles. So one, two, and three. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. Or even better, by the way. Let's just make the leg of the lamp out of end rods. Double the light possibilities. That is super snazzy. Let's just keep that. And on this side, we're gonna make something really, really simple. Diorite. One, two, three, and four blocks. Above that, maybe an end rod with a little white stained glass paint. A lamp, don't judge it. Flower pot with a blue orchid, my favorite flower. I'm loving it. Could have a painting here, but we might get there. What goes for this side? Let's just do this. One, two, three, and four blocks of quartz and make a shelving unit. So upside down quartz there. The middle ones are normally replaced. Upside down, upside down, upside down. So let's go with that design until we reach the the, the the top of the door frame, that is. Like this. Very simple, but still works. Could also, let me see, do I have any cord slabs around here? I doubt I do. Yeah, I do. There we go. Let's do it like this instead. Above here, let's just make a shelving. Two shelving, two, two the shelves, two shelves. That's gonna be a very high shelf though. That is our problem. Because it would be kind of cool just having a little shelf above here instead. So we could play some stuff if wanted above that. But it would be kind of cool having one more. So let's just do this instead. Yeah, this is tricky because I do want to have those here. But at the same time, I want to have a lamp. So we just might keep an end rod. And there's nothing else I can place on the shelves. It's a little bit boring. I guess I could just, here in the corner, we could, like, if not using player heads, that is. Because if you use player heads, you can just put like plates, books, and whatnot. But this is uh, pretty much the vanilla blocks. And um, yeah, we're a little bit limited when it comes to that. But that looks really nice. Not too shabby. And also, do not neglect. Around the whole perimeter here is going to be upside down dark oak stairs to begin with. All the way around the room. 
See, it's starting to become something, and I'm, I'm really liking this. Then uh, grab some dark oak slabs and place one here and one here. So we have two blocks, two blocks, and two blocks, and take those all the way across on both sides. Just like that, and then we're gonna have a few across as well. So here we're gonna have a one block gap and take that all the way across to the other side. Let's do the same on this side. So one block a gap and then this all the way across. We're gonna have a little different design here in the middle. So let's just count it here. Let's leave something like this. So we have two block gap, two block gap, and those are just gonna be going on the sides. They're not gonna be touching the middle because here we can have a lamp design. So one, two block gap and two, two block gaps and then just across. So now if you want to count the blocks, it looks something like this. Now it's just a question, because we have the table and that table is free in width. So we could modify this even more. We could have a one block gap here, for example, like this. You just wait and see, just wait and see, okay? And delete those instead, which means the table design comes here in the center now. And uh, that might look very symmetrical with the lamp design. So it's all up in the eye of the beholder. Like if you want to keep those symmetrical or just the table lamp in symmetrical order. All up to you guys. All up to you. But let's make a table a little lamp here. So here on the middle one and just above place an end rod or even two maybe just like this on them. Maybe the glowstone. Not too shabby for a lamp. And let me just grab the white paint as well. And, and let's just keep it super simple. So on the sides, we can maybe have white glass panes and just to connect them up on the sides, maybe some light gray ones. Do we really need anything else more special than this? Like we could do a chandelier like that, but this is a dining area. I don't think we need anything more spectacular than this. This is not bad. I like this a lot. Not gonna be the guy, but that looks pretty, pretty snazzy. I'm still debating about the glowstone behind here. Because it just might be too bright, but then we have to envision this is an underground project. So we do have the living room, we have a nice looking hallway, and we have a nice looking dining area. So should we continue? Or should we not? You guys let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Smack the like button if you did enjoy this. And my voice is absolutely... I've been having this sore throat for almost a week and I can't get rid of it. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I have a very hard time talking for a long period of time. Uh, even though we've just been at it for like a half an hour or something. But still, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts my feelings. So smack the like button if you did enjoy this, guys. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully. But... Uh, for an underground house, this is pretty, pretty awesome looking. Let me just see, is it day or night? Oh, where's the entrance at? There we go. Yeah, we need to tweak that a little bit now because we are expanding the house a little bit, but uh, damn. If you want to live uh, underground, you have to live in style. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Now, does it? There's a creeper just behind that window, by the way, but hey, it is what it is. See you guys in the next episode.